There have been many videos on YouTube talking about the Canon EOS R5 and it's overheating when shooting video. Some people are saying that it happens in still mode as well too, but we haven't found that to be the case. We shoot in like 90 something degree weather with a lot of humidity here in New York City and haven't really had any problems at all. But our audience is mostly a photo audience, it's not really a video audience. So we have this really large segment of our audience that loves time-lapse photography and loves landscape photography and all that kind of stuff. When we looked online, we didn't really see a whole lot out there about testing this camera out for time-lapse mode. So we decided to do it ourselves. The Canon EOS R5 has two different time-lapse modes. There is the still mode that just takes photos and that's it, or in video mode, it will stitch everything together into a really nice video for you. And personally, I like the latter. I don't really like going into post-production, doing all that stuff myself, but I mean, to each their own. And you know, if you want those files and go right ahead, but otherwise, some of us just like it from the camera. I personally liked it from the camera. So I decided last night to try it out in video mode. And what I did was I took the camera, I put it into manual video mode, then went through the menu, and then I chose time-lapse mode, and then I set it to as long as I possibly could. Now, in order to also get a video that I could use in post-production, I set it to 4K. There is an 8K option, but Final Cut, as far as I know, does not let you edit 8K videos. So I was like, all right, you know what, let me just put an emphasis on speed. Everyone will probably go ahead and downsize it anyway. Let me do 4K. So I did a 4K video, and there were a couple of problems that I ran into. None of them were overheating. They were all more of my own fault. For starters, you have to make sure that the camera doesn't turn off, or else it probably will. I plugged the camera into a wall just to ensure that extra power would be there, but I was pretty confident that the power would be there no matter what, just because of the fact that Canon batteries are so good, and I'm using the newer one, which gives you... Uh, around 17% more juice, I believe. I set the camera up to shoot one one second long image every five seconds at F11 and ISO 3200. And I set it up, let it shoot for a number of hours, then realized, hey, it's turning off the LCD and it will still keep recording. So I just left it to go record, set an alarm on my phone to wake me up at around 3 a.m. or something like that. And then suddenly I came down and the camera's LCD was on. And I was like, hmm, okay. Kept working, no problems. And then I looked at the back of the screen and I was like, oh, wow. It shot this really nice two minute long time-lapse video. There were no overheating problems, even though you can go into the menu and you can turn off overheating control. I didn't have the problem at all. And I think that's a big difference here for photographers and videographers. Yes, Canon did a lot of marketing around this camera for video, but it's a fantastic stills camera. And if you're gonna use it for time-lapse or if you're gonna use it for still photography, you won't really have any problems. I just, uh, I'm still trying to see that myself and figure out what's gonna happen with video. I mean, I'm recording one right now in 4K, not doing it in 8K or anything like that. So uh, we will see. Anyway, here's the time-lapse. Thank you. 